Okay, now let's bring in Gateway Pundit, editor Joe Hoff. Joe, uh, read your piece. Let's talk about this smoking gun that you believe you've uncovered. Talk to us, and it's exclusive, uh -huh. by the way. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Thanks for having me. Um, the uh, the point I'd like to make too is that I, you know, I, we put up a number of posts about for the week before the election of 2020, and we got taken down. I got taken down off Twitter, and I, I still don't have my account back. And so, yes, uh, they did target people who were sharing information from the laptop, and yes, it was absolutely accurate. We had we had chain of custody that that proved to us that this this information was coming exactly from the from Hunter Biden's laptop, which was owned at that time by uh, Mac Isaac. So what we found today is we've gone through this laptop is another document that we find we feel is really damning. It's um, it's related to the to Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, and it's related to this incident in in the Ukraine where you, there's this famous uh, interview where Joe Biden in 2017 brags about having uh, the prosecutor uh, overseeing the Burisma case from the Ukraine, having him uh, removed from office. And Joe did it through a quid pro Joe type of technique where he uh, threatened uh, the Ukraine and the president saying, if you don't get rid of this guy, um, I'm not going to give you this billion Hold dollars. On, Joe, Joe, it, Joe, stop. Joe, just bear with me for one second because I think this is super, super important. Folks, there, there's a video that Joe is talking about right now. We've played it, and I want to continue to play it every opportunity we can because I, I don't know a more – hold on, sound, hold on, control. I don't know a more Harvard textbook definition of corruption, of bribery, of illegal use of your office, of use of – misuse of taxpayer money to bribe another official than this soundbite we're about to play. And I want to play it again and again whenever we can, because I, I cannot understand how we elect this man a president. Go. I said, I'm telling you, you're not getting a billion dollars. I said, you're not getting a billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a <laughs> got fired. Yeah. Yeah, so he held off a billion dollars of U.S. taxpayer aid to Ukraine unless they fired a prosecutor, Joe, Joe Hoft, the prosecutor who was investigating Burisma, and we now know, not at the time, but his son was a board member of that same company, Barista. Burisma. Yeah, that Burisma, absolutely, uh, Eric. And, and what we found today in this email is an email from 2014 where Burisma sends this uh, request to Hunter Biden, who's on, on the board at that time. And uh, the request is, hey, can you use your influences to basically end this investigation into us by the Ukrainian prosecutor? So he received this in 2014. Again, they're asking for Hunter's influence to have this prosecutor and this uh, investigation ended. So what happens a year later? Uh, that, that incident that Joe, Joe Biden just admitted to, that he goes to the Ukraine, says, hey, if you don't if you don't get rid of this guy, I'm not giving you the billion dollars. And what he says within six hours, that guy was gone. And so that's that. So we have the, the email. It's at the Gateway Pundit. It's our top story right now. We've got another email that will corroborate this that we're going to bring out tomorrow. Uh, but this is just uh, now evidence that, of why Joe performed this task. It, it was to get rid of this prosecutor that would per a request from the top people at Burisma. Joe, they're not even hiding it. Biden didn't even hide it. He literally was on a stage with cameras rolling saying that I told him fire a prosecutor. You're not getting a billion U.S. tax dollars. And son of a <laughs> they did it is what he said. Yeah. I'm just blown away. How, how is this man not in jail? Amen. And in that in that video there, the guy on his left is the head of this Council on Foreign Relations. The guy on his right is this guy by the name of Michael Carpenter. We've looked into him. He was running the Biden U Penn Center, the same center that we just found like 10 classified documents at top secret uh, and, and God knows how many more classified ones. So, you know, this is the kind of people that are on stage here. Uh, we have no idea how they got those documents as well. But we found this document on Hunter's laptop. And um, that was formerly Hunter's and now uh, John Paul Mac Isaac. So uh, we've got more coming up. Well, good. We're going to keep our eye on it, and Joe. And you'll come back and, and, and show us what you find if there's more explosive um, evidence. I'm going to call it evidence. I mean, Ad, Ad, Adam Schiff was wrong about what evidence really is. And, and I would say this could be 
very, very aggressive evidence against one Joe Biden, Hunter Biden going forward. Joe Hoft, um, again, folks, Gateway Pundit, pick it up and take a look at it. Thanks. Joe, Thanks, thank sir. you. All right, coming up, while the D.C. swamp embraced Joe Biden's presidential lies, we're going to expose them right here. It's a movement started by Donald Trump, and we're happy to help carry the torch forward. My State of the Union re-rebuttal next on The Balance.